Hi, let's have a simple and interesting simulation activity. We'll be using the simulation from PHET. I've put the link here on the worksheet already. And we'll learn about something called the equal potential surfaces or equal potential line, which is a line joining the same potential simply. And also see how that can help you to convert into the graph of electric potential against distance. So I'll show the first one. There are three examples in total. I'll show you the first one as an example. So the first case is having only one single proton or positive charge. So here in the simulation environment, you can drag this positive charge out. Okay, and this is what you see. Uh, I would recommend you to enable... Actually, you just need a grid, I think. Right, you don't even need the electric field line. All right, or if you like to, then yeah, it's up to you. I will probably try to put this at somewhat in, at a very nice intersection. Okay, just for you know easier demonstration and you can see the pattern like more easily. And so, what you have to do next is check out this equal potential, like it's like a voltmeter, or well, not exactly voltmeter because voltmeter usually is measured the potential difference but this one is literally measuring the potential right there and so what you can see is when you get closer the potential is getting greater and it increases much faster when you get very close so that again relate to the equation v equals to kq over l so what i want you to do is uh, pick a certain voltage let's say six okay i try my best uh, I think I think that's good enough. Okay, and then you click the pencil button and then it will help you to create the equal potential line. And obviously, if you try to move along this, all right, as you can see, it's, well, my hand is not very stable, but then if you try it, you will see it's, yeah, it's almost 6.0 along the line. So you can see at all the position here, the potential are, all exactly equal to six and obviously that is related to the fact that the distance from all the positions here is like a math question right you have uh, the locus of the point where you have the same distance and therefore if the charge is unchanged Coulomb constant of course is unchanged and therefore the equation kq over l is going to be the same which is the potential so that's why you form a circle here the other thing I would like you to enable actually is the value. So once you click this, you see 6.0V. I think they chop off the last two digits because um, it's, it's not going to be very helpful anyway. So what I want you to do, to do next is uh, go and set a regular interval. So in the worksheet, I suggest you maybe set 2V. So it's up to you. You can set 2, you can set 3, you can set 1 if you would like to spend more time. Uh, I think two is pretty good enough. So let's do this. Um, yeah, so this is close to 8.0. Okay, so again, you see another circle. And let's do more. Next is 12. Ah, 12.1. Never mind. Okay, so if you see the words are overlapping, it's not easy to, to read. What you can actually do is you can drag them. Okay, it's pretty cool. Right, this simulation is pretty well designed. So sorry for 12.1, I think you will understand, right? 12.0 is somewhat a bit outside, right, from from the center. So next is 14. Okay. Aya. Why is it 14.1? Oh yeah, yeah, it's 14.1. Never mind. <laughs> um I'll try better. Okay. 16. Come on. Uh, yeah. Okay, never mind. 16.1. <laughs> so, after you have done this, or if you like to, you can do more. Like 4. Okay, outside is easier. 4, and then 2. Hopefully, I can still show it. Yeah, I can. Wow, exactly 2. So, you can see, this is a pattern. Wow, very cyber, but by the way. <laughs> Cyberpunk. Um, and so you can see the most interesting pattern is it get shorter and shorter for each circle when you get close to it. And that's something related to, again, how the V, 
will change against the out. So this is a pattern that I would like you to draw on your worksheet or if you're doing it on the computer, then just screenshot it. Easy peasy. All right, moving to a graph. Uh, let's put down the axis first. And let's say if I call the positive charge or the, or the proton is at the middle. Okay, so this is where it is located at. Then how are you going to draw the graph of this? Pause the video and try it yourself. A few moments later. Once again, we can recall the equation that is V equals to KQ over R. R is the distance between the point charge and the external charge like the proton here. And so when you get close to zero and get close to the proton, the whole thing will become infinite, right? Getting close to infinite. And therefore, what you will have to do is you should draw an asymptote, something you learn in math, I believe. And that should be something you should get close with. Okay, so probably something like this symmetrically, and it should tend to be like to zero, right? It should verge, converge to zero on two sides. And of course, in your mind, you should relate the idea of like this voltage, it changed much faster than the outer one by looking at this and this okay when you look at the change in y when it's closer it changes much faster than the one that is outside case number two two protons so now go and do it yourself on the simulation pause the video now two thousand years later let me also demonstrate so here is how i place the two protons and your decision may be slightly different and that would yield a different result in terms of the v and also the pattern size like okay but overall the whole pattern should be very similar so first of all i've already located 12 okay and i'm going to do it and then you can see this is only locally here and so i think there should be another 12 okay right here nice and so i can go for 14 for each of them so uh, obviously the pattern is not going to be very surprising because that is similar to what you have in the first practice, okay? The most important pattern that you need to see is between them. So what happened in the space between them? And unfortunately, if you try to search, like in if you are following exactly my configuration, or in your configuration, you find out, hey, if I want to locate 10, I cannot find it because the minimum between them is like 10.31 V. That is the minimum I can find. If I get closer to each side, then it becomes higher again. So this is like the local minimum that you can have. And that's, that is what it is. So probably what you have to do is go a bit higher and you'll be able to locate that. And so in fact, the equal potential line for 10 V is somewhat like this itself in the middle. So in the middle is somewhat like uh, it's still going down, but then uh, it's not as low as 10. All right, and so if I want to locate X, I guess I have to go for here. Okay, something like this. So that is the pattern that you can find. All right, so again, if I say here and here are the two positive charge, then how are you going to draw the graph of V against R then? Pause the video now and try it yourself. A few moments later. So first of all, we can borrow from the idea that we just mentioned in the first case. So we'll have two asymptotes on each position. And again, uh, they should look like this from infinity converge to zero and the most tricky thing is in, in between them so from what you have seen earlier you was you should see that it will go down up to a certain point and it will go back up again ah, yeah didn't draw very well okay something like this and if you really want to you can indicate this value uh, in our case it's like 10 point 
something right 10.3 I remember so yeah just just a, a value depending on the distance between them and yeah that will be the local minimum of the potential between the two charges okay lastly one proton and one electron try out yourself on the simulation pause the video now a few moments later okay let me try also so here uh, by the way you can also see the e field all right if you have enabled it all right the e field pattern uh, a bit similar to the magnetic field line anyway so here uh, we have the most interesting part must be zero all right if you remember what i said earlier in the previous video when only you have one positive and one negative then you can surely find a certain point between them um will be zero v so starting from this i think that would be easy for us to work with and as you know if you get closer to the negative it will become negative v obviously and so you can see negative 2 positive 2 v and so that's actually pretty much it you can you should be able to guess the rest of them already okay four and then go for six and then here should be negative six negative eight and then here is eight okay sorry I, I again I can't get perfect zero so anyway so this is how the pattern would look like and again you should try to work on the graph now if I say this is positive this is a negative charge how would it look like try it yourself a few moments later Again, because of this equation, no matter you are positive or negative, when R tends to zero, the V will tend to infinity. So what we will do is again draw the asymptote, but this time because of the negative charge, we will have negative V as you could expect. And so near the positive charge, I think you should know, look something like this, positive value region and converge to zero. And then here, for 100% sure that you should have an anchor point which uh, to remind you that you must pass through zero and so this is something that it should look like uh, okay like a reflection okay and on uh, near the negative uh, charge you would converge to the asymptote and that means you are going to negative infinity and then you come back from negative infinity again and converge to zero okay so this is how the pattern should look like that's about it for the simulation activity however there are still a few more things you should pay attention and let me remind you on that so first again uh, when you have two proton then you will never hit zero right you only would hit a local minimum here and only if you have one proton and one electron because one is positive and one is negative so there is a chance where their potential in the middle somewhere depending on their charge obviously would become zero so that's the first thing second thing is uh, if you try to pay attention to the electric field line and the equal potential line they will have a relationship which is true in general that uh, it is perpendicular to each other so for example for uh, case number two you should be able to draw the electric field line like this maybe and then like this maybe okay so you can see for the electric field line which is outward from the positive is always 90 degree to the equal potential line same as maybe there's another uh, case like one proton one electron then you should have electric field from positive to negative directly so again you can see 90 degree or 90 degree to the equal potential line and you can also draw another one like this and these supposed to be 90 degree also all right similar at the bottom so this is something that uh, you you can visualize here and hopefully you can apply later on 
Lastly, if you recall, there is a trick that I taught you on gravitation about the V against R graph, potential against the distance, and that is to think about the line itself on the graph is like the mountain. And so what you, what I ask you to do to think about is imagine there's a ball at on the graph, then what happened to it is will be like the ball on the mountain. So if you have a ball here, then it will roll down to the right and keep rolling uh, to this, you know, <laughs> uh, infinite hole, or right? infinite depth hole, uh, and it can never come back. And same idea as in uh, if you have a ball here in this pattern of mountain, then what it happened is it will go back and forth like this probably. Okay, back and forth. And eventually, if there's energy lost uh, in a certain way, then it could rest at the middle, right? Which is the um, local minimum energy level. As for this, then it will just go uh, to infinity. However, one important thing is, what is this object in electrical uh, situation because in gravitation um, nothing special it's just a mass right but for electrical you have to be more specific what is this ball let me give you 10 seconds The answer is not just a random charge, right? You may think, oh, change mass to charge, and that will be it. No. More specifically, you have to say it is a positive charge rolling in this mountain. And the reason is obviously uh, related to the definition. We always refer to the small positive point charge. And if you try to think about the graph itself as well, positive will repel from the positive, and that's why it will roll away from it and roll close to negative and obviously if you have a positive meeting with the negative they would basically get stuck forever in this case so this so-called ball analogy uh, is applying onto the positive charge okay that's all for the video if you enjoy it please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel i'll see you again in the next video bye